Troy from Zia Comics here with another one of my travel logs. Still in Abu Dhabi. Uh, this one is going to be the Sheikh Zayed Mosque, also known as the White Mosque. This place is immense. It took about 20 years to build. I believe it got finished 2007. Sheikh Zayed didn't uh, live, I believe, to see his completion, but he is buried nearby. His family had him buried close to it because this is one of his favorite projects. This mosque has the world's largest rug. It also had, it used to have the largest uh, crystal chandelier. Now I believe it got demoted to second largest, but this second largest crystal chandelier full of Swarovski crystals is just crazy breathtaking to see. But me talking about it doesn't do it any justice. So I'm going to start showing you some pictures and videos. Stitch Persian carpet in the world which took 700 Iranian ladies two years to sit inside the mosque and stitch it. Together with that, everyone inside the mosque, you will see one of the most beautiful and the biggest chandelier in the world, made of Swarovski crystal. So, everyone over here, as we go inside, I would ask the ladies, come up. You heard the tour guide, women had to have their heads covered and nobody could wear shorts. It was a little restrictive on the clothing you could wear. The white mosque, this is it. You can't go directly into it. I'll show you that later. The mosque is located close to the Etihad Towers as you see here. Also the Emirate Palace Hotel right there. And a little farther down you will get the white mosque. There it is in all its marbly glory. You start off here in the parking lot of the mosque. As you can see in the background here, you walk through this security glass domed checkpoint, which will take you into the tolerance path, which is a very, very long underground path to get to the exit point, which is just inside of an exterior courtyard there outside the mosque. Uh, found out the hard way. No personal displays of affection, which includes holding hands and hugging. There are designated areas for you to stop and take pictures or videos, as you can see here, roped off with the rope and stanchion. If you tried to stop anywhere in between, you were, <laughs> you were told to keep moving. So there, there are spots here, choke points, where you can stop and take pictures and videos. A lot of times you had to wait because the people in front of you would take forever to take their posed photo. Click and move on, people. Here is the entry to the courtyard. And once we get inside the courtyard, I'm going to show you just how magnificent looking this place is. This is the main interior marbled courtyard with the spires, very Moroccan themed architecture, very ornate all the way down to the flower and vine theme, which you're going to see throughout this, uh, this mosque, even down through these, the hallways, it's just uh, all the gold. You're going to hear me say breathtaking a lot. Here's that vine and flower theme I told you is going to be seen throughout. There's one, one of the Swarovski laden chandeliers, not the main one. But as you can see, they really, really pulled everything together with this vine and flower theme. Here is the world's largest rug. And down there is the second largest crystal chandelier. These all these chandeliers are just massive filled with Swarovski crystal. You've got the Moroccan style architecture. This main prayer hall holds a little over 7,000 and there's a couple other smaller prayer halls uh, that hold around 1,500 to 2,000 because women still cannot pray with the men. The whole mosque itself will hold over 40,000 people for prayer. On the way out you see the reflecting pools that surround the main courtyard. All the hallways have reflecting pools just on the outside of them. That was the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, or more commonly known as the White Mosque. It, uh, like I showed you, the, all the pictures were the only ones that we could really take. Uh, they, they had certain spots where you could go in to take pictures, a lot of places you couldn't get into. I tried to show you all that I could from those spots. They are very, very, it's, it's still a religious location. So, you know, keeping in with their religion, there's a lot of things you couldn't do, like the, you know, the personal displays of affection. Women had to cover their heads. You couldn't wear shorts. I believe there was no eating or drinking inside the mosque. You couldn't sleep anywhere inside the mosque. And in fact, I, back in 2013, <laughs> Rihanna actually got kicked out of the mosque for taking 
what they consider provocative pictures uh, with the mosque in the background. Uh, they don't play around with their religion. Um, so if you're ever in Abu Dhabi, it is just uh, it, pictures and videos don't do it justice. You really need to experience it for yourself. The, the stuff that we couldn't get pictures of in between the, the photo op points, just breathtaking. I know I'm going to say that a lot. The whole place was just opulent and breathtaking. So if you like this travel video, you'd like to see more like it, subscribe down there, man. Just click that little subscribe button. It's free and it don't cost you nothing and it helps us a lot. And until you see that next video, later nerds. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or e? What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.